All right, hey guys, out here again, metal detecting. This is a spot I haven't been to in a couple of years. This is my cousin's property, but I have found some bullets here in Civil War stuff before. Uh, actually, quite a few neat items here. So i uh, got a good signal here. It's, it's faint, um, but it's reading like a bullet would read. So I'm thinking that's going to be a bullet. I hope I'm not jinxing us uh, with saying that, but let's dig it up together and see. Actually, you know what? Let me move the shovel. <clears throat> I'll let you... Listen to what it sounds like. Let me turn the machine on. Uh, let me have it in all metal. I'm gonna ground balance it here. All right, let's listen. Kind of hear that? Kind of a really faint, solid thump. That's really what the bullets sound like. So there should be one right here. So let's uh, let's dig it up and see. Try to do this with. Uh, I still haven't gotten my tripod set up, so let's see. All right. You know what? I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to turn the camera off until I get a, you know, uh, a nice bit of dirt out, and then we'll check it together and see uh, where the item might be. All right, guys. So I gave up on that last target. I just, I, I dug down and I started getting into like burlap and rocks, and I was relatively near the drain field, so I was worried I was digging through the septic drain field. So anyway, came over a little bit to the uh, kind of left of where I was and found, this is where I found probably 20 bullets maybe in this little area. Just got a pretty good signal, and this is what I pulled out of the hole. So that, to me, looks like a rivet off of a cartridge box, because we found so many bullets here. I'm gonna guess it's from the cartridge box. Oh, look at that. How would rivets look like on the inside? <laughs> I think I broke the uh, the top off of it there. Look at that. Look how shiny that is underneath. I think it says something, too. Huh, that's weird. Well, I thought this would be a rivet off of a cartridge box. Um, I don't know if that's what they look like on the inside. Maybe you guys can let me know. Never broken one like that. But uh, anyway, we're going to keep looking in this little area here because there could be more bullets. And I have not found the box plate here. So <clears throat> I'm hopeful there's a nice U.S. box plate buried here as well. Let's keep looking. All right, just found that little wedge there. I think you find these wedges sometimes in Civil War camps. At least I've read that. Pretty sure it's what that is. So, all right, keep looking around here. Hopefully there'll be some good... Uh, Good iron and good non-iron as well. All right, well, right next to the wedge, I got a very bullet-like signal, so let's see what it is. I already dug up the hole, but it continued to sound bullet-like um, the more I dug down. Normally, uh, I... <coughs> Excuse me. Normally, I check to see if it sounds like iron the more I dig down. This one sounded more like uh, a bullet the more I dug down. So let's see. And I think... Yeah, right down there. Ah, what is that? Ah, uh, yeah, bullet, look at that. Right there. You see it? There we go. Look at that. It's a carved one. That's awesome. I love that. Look at that. I wonder what they're trying to make. Yep. It's absolutely a carved Civil War bullet. Awesome. Let's see, Let's see if, uh... Yeah, just how it is. That's really cool. Yeah. I love finding carved Civil War bullets because it's like art that the soldier made, you know, so that's that's awesome. We'll clean it out uh, a little bit later, some water, and see if it anything carved in that little area that's been scooped out. But uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, we'll definitely keep looking in this area. All right, so I just got a really faint signal. I mean, a whisper. Barely hear this thing, but I popped out of the hole something out of the hole and now it's ringing very bullet like in this area so let's see you know maybe it's another one of those uh what was those things say uh, a rivet could be that too oh. what is that what the heck is that No idea what that is. It's like folded up. 
folded up brass. Is that a fired modern bullet? I guess it might be. That's really hard to tell. I don't know what that is. Huh. But, I mean, I almost didn't dig that up. It was very, very faint. But if a signal like that's down there, I mean, that could have been a button. could have been anything. Keep looking. All right, maybe a deep bullet right there. It was right next to the trees. Probably why I didn't hear it last time. Look at that. Is that a bullet, like... Nose down. Let's see. I think that's what that is. Let me get my knife and try to pry that out without scratching it. Yeah. It's a nice mini ball right there. Excellent. All right. How badly did I scratch it? Not too bad. Oh, my pants here. Take a look at it. Hmm, you know what's interesting about this one? It almost looks like it was melted a little bit. I don't think it is. Is he on that side? It almost looks a little melted. Most of the ones I find in here are 54 caliber. So these are a little bit smaller than the standard uh, mini balls. And uh, I had Chig here a couple of years ago. He found a Connecticut button. And what was interesting is that um, there was a few uh, Connecticut regiments that were in this area that uh, carried 54 um, caliber uh rifles that took 54 caliber mini balls early in the war later in the war they switched so this was likely an 1862 site after antietam that's what we're thinking so anyway so two bullets today that rivet having a great time